Okay. Yep. <clears throat> it's about that time. It's about that time. I'm talking to myself. But let me go ahead and um get on the social medias and let folks know that we is in here. Mm-hmm. Dang, Dominique, how you type all that so quick? Goodness gracious, what? Look, I don't even, can't even fool with y'all tonight. I'm, I'm, just give me a second. I'm just letting the world know we live. You know, that's it. That's it. Let me go ahead and share this with the world. I see y'all piling in here. How y'all beautiful people doing? We about to get this week started off. Rizite. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I know y'all know what I'm saying because you always know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, baby. It's Monday. I got to. I got to do this. What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Artie Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. <laughs> Happy Monday. Happy Monday to all my beautiful people around the world. I hope y'all had a fantastic weekend, and I hope y'all are ready to get this week started off right on a positive note. I'm feeling better myself. I haven't been, you know, in the best headspace for a little while now, you know, but... I, I try to lift my head up every single day and keep pushing forward. Dang, I wasn't planning on doing any reactions today other than this live stream, and I ended up posting five. <laughs> I'm still trying to get these merchandise orders out the door for you guys. I've been working on that all weekend, and I'm still not done. Um, but hopefully, yeah, they should be able to go out the door by tomorrow. Um, but yeah, y'all know. Y'all know. I'm going to be shouting y'all out throughout the live stream. You know, as the orders come in, I know you guys want to get on the website and cop some of your merchandise. Oh, also, with that being said, just about everything that's on the website right now, that's it. I'm not really going to be restocking much of anything that's on the website. I have some stuff that's coming in right now. The caps, the it's cap caps that you guys wanted so badly, they will be here tomorrow. But I'm not going to be releasing them on the website until Friday. They'll be here tomorrow, but they're going to be on the website Friday. Um, and it's only like a hundred of them um, 50 is two colors and it's gonna be 50 of each. I can't well Less than a hundred because I got to get two one of each color for me. So sorry about that. Sorry about that <laughs> But nonetheless, I can't wait till they get here and I'm ready to rock them things I can't wait. I can't wait to say it's cat with my cap on <laughs> I can't wait, but yeah, um, I, I, I'm bringing back the it's a-ok pullovers as well as one last restock of the Karen tank tops and then all this stuff, you guys, no more restock of any of the stuff that's on the website right now because um, I want to change some designs up later on in the year, later on. But who knows when? I might do it next month, two, three months, four, five, six months. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. But what's going on, my people? We is in here. We're about to have a good night. Y'all about to hear a lot of chills voice tonight. I'm going to tell y'all that. Uh, one of my viewers sent me a video for us to check out, and it's a top it's like one of the top five or top ten channels, but they let... I don't know if it's a Chills channel or if they let him narrate for the channel. I don't know how that whole thing works, but yeah, he's he's on there. And we got a Chills video here as well. So get ready to hear some some Chills. Get ready. I, I like Chills. I don't care what nobody say. I like Chills. I F with him. Wes, what's going on? What is going on? Shout out to Wes Cox. Always up in here supporting the channel. Angel, Angel Beauty, another one that's always supporting the channel. Appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Kimberly, what's going on, Kimberly? I'm one of your newest subscribers. I love your channel. It keeps me happy Happy after, oh, no, losing family members recently. I'm sorry to hear that. Keep up the great work. I hope you stay positive. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing and letting it be known that you appreciate the channel. And I'm glad that I could put a smile on your face. During these hard times. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Can't wait for the that's cap cap. I know that's right. I can't wait either. You Look, I'm kind of rocking this shirt because one of the caps is going to match this shirt. I can't wait to get it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I think I might bring these back because a lot of people have been asking for the Speak Your Truth shirts. Um, I might bring them back when I hit a million subscribers. You know, that might be something I do. What up, Miss Tran? Another supporter. Another longtime supporter. Yeah, y'all know, man. Y'all know we about to get this party started. We gonna wait till we get a thousand people in here, though. You know it's early. I want, you know, I just put the word out. Literally, what exactly five minutes ago, you know, on social media 
that we're about to get the party started that we're live right now so let's wait let's wait till we get a whole thousand people in here and then we'll get this first video going because i know a lot of you guys be so upset you know when you're late so we're gonna wait we're gonna wait it out for a few more people to get in here but yeah so we is here we is here there was something else i wanted to say too i don't even remember what it was i don't even remember what it was you know i got that short-term memory thing so it's it's not it's not so good oh one other thing too um starting tomorrow i gotta really gotta really really get back on my whole workout regimen you know heavy heavy with it um i let today be my off day so that i can work on getting these orders and stuff out the door i gotta autograph everything i autograph literally everything um so i gotta make tomorrow be you know a day where i really really get back on it i was talking to my trainer today and she was like you know we got 68 days till summer right i was like dang i didn't even realize it I like, all right so let's let's hold each other accountable with our eating regimen I, I meal prepped yesterday i didn't eat my stuff today but i meal prepped yesterday so I got enough meals to last me an entire week. Um, and then obviously when, I, when they get down, I gotta, gotta keep it going with some more. But y'all, I gotta get back on it because I feel like I've gained back every single pound that I've lost in a very, very short amount of time. And I'm not too happy about that. Really, I didn't. I gained back like eight pounds, but still, that's too much. It's too much for your boy. It is too much. We got some more. Let me get to the rest of these uh, shout outs real quick and then we about to get this party started. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Y'all, we're going to have members um, soon. When I get to a million subscribers, members will be available. So people that want to support the channel and join the channel. And I'll start doing members only live streams and stuff like that. Where I I don't know if there'll be members, members only. I don't know exactly how it works, but I think only the members will be able to chat or something like that. I don't know. I just want to play with it, but we'll have that. That'll be available to us soon. Uh, hold on. What are people saying? What are people saying up in here? What is people saying? Tatted. Yesterday was my birthday. Oh, shout out to Tatted. Or, yeah, shout out to Tatted. Happy belated. LP, bro, I love your content. But your intro is catchy, man. Hey, y'all, look, I didn't even, I didn't even realize how catchy my intro was and how much people liked it. I don't even remember when I started. <laughs> I don't even remember when I started or what made me do that intro. Mama Dukes, another one, another long time supporter. He says, can't wait to get our order. Big Brain's in the house. Yes, ma'am, it's coming. It's on the way. Big Brain Mafia time. Look, man, y'all y'all gonna make me have to do something with Big Brain now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna make me have to do something with the Big Brain. But y'all, we almost got 1,200 people in here. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Y'all, this first video is five scary videos you will not forget tonight. We done seen this character many a times before. I don't know for sure if this is going to be the same video. The last one was different. Let's hope that this one is too. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. These videos are so terrifying. I would be shocked if you aren't still thinking of them tonight. Number five, Lalo Escalante. I remember this video. He is a Mexican paranormal investigator, relatively new to YouTube. Escalante started his channel in October 2019. At the beginning of December 2020, Lalo and his team investigated an abandoned house. Yo, I, <laughs> I wish I had the hat. I wish I had the cap right now. In Culican, Mexico, right at the beginning of this video, a couple of orbs can be spotted as the camera is showing the exterior. While it could be dismissed as dust particles, other such specks can be seen all around. The orbs in question stand out and do not resemble the other dust specks seen. Furthermore, there's no distinguishing features you would see on an insect such as wings. From this common and tame example of paranormal phenomenon, the video escalates rather quickly. Escalante is joined on this investigation by friends David Apino and Luis Fernando. Right from the get-go, Apino appears to be in a state of discomfort. He frequently clutches at his stomach and coughs. Oh, yo, I'm, look, I'm wrong. I don't know how tall these guys are or how short that dude is but i swear i swear this dude was a kid for a second hold on i feel like my screen thing is like way yep i got it way too big hold on we moving around moving around yeah i got this thing way too big 
Way, way too big. Bow. There we go. Causing concern amongst the others. He's not a kid. He's a grown, he's a grown man. Despite him claiming he's just as tall as my former roommate. Claiming to be all right, the others seem unconvinced, and soon Apino is hardly able to walk. His companions help him to a place where he can have a seat, and he stumbles as he is being led. Once they get him seated, they attempt to compose themselves when Escalante hears a noise startling him. <laughs> After calling, hey, you see that? What is that? Calling out Ola, the cameraman spots a figure in a white shirt calmly walking from right to left in the background. The team quickly, yo, y'all playing. What was the actual speed of that thing moving? He goes to investigate and check to see if there may be another person in the building. Entering a courtyard, they find nobody there and no sign of where the figure has gone. As they attempt to determine what they saw, their focus is broken by a strange high pitch from above them. <laughs> it is difficult to fully analyze what the noise might be as Escalante is speaking when it happens, but on closer inspection, it sounds either to be a woman giving out a quick scream sound or the squeaking of a door or other inanimate object against either the ground or wall. Seconds later, they hear a similar noise, and this time clearly sounds like a whimper. <laughs> As they decide to re-enter the building, they hear another sound, this time like a woman either crying or laughing. <laughs> By this point, they feel they are not alone and quickly duck back inside. Throughout this time, Apino continues to show signs of distress, coughing and rubbing his stomach and chest. Clearly, something is affecting him. On their way inside, they discover some evidence the place is used by vagrants, trash all over and discarded clothing. This does lead to the possibility of whatever they saw and heard could be an actual person rather than paranormal. But th this looks like it's a little bit more in depth than the last video that we saw from these guys. This doesn't make the ordeal any less scary. People can be unpredictable, and it's possible whoever may be residing there could want to protect something they have stored there. The trio soon ascends to the top floor, where they spot yet another terrifying presence. <laughs> Below them, in the courtyard, they spotted the figure and heard the noises. <laughs> they again see something staring at them. It then quickly ducks behind a wall, out of sight. They all rush down to investigate, but whatever was there has vanished. As they return to the courtyard, a loud crash is heard next to them. And even worse, a Pino appears to black out. <laughs> See, man, has gone completely they think they slick. They think they slick. They would make it be the little guy. They would make it be the little guy that passes out and <laughs> they have to pick him up and carry him out of there because he's lighter. It's easier. Come on now. Come on now. It's easy to pick up the little guy. Miss Minnie, Miss Aunt Minnie, you welcome. I'm glad you like the, the tie-dye tank top. Summertime, perfect, perfect. Ed, and he is out cold, concerned for their friend's well-being. The team abandons their investigation and rushes Apino back to their car. At this point, the video ends, but captions after state Apino regained consciousness and recovered quickly. Clearly, something had Come affected him in the place. They never found what was spying on them, but it is safe to say it didn't want them there and definitely succeeded in sending them hightailing it back to safety. Number 4 Dark Ghost is a Russian paranormal investigator sharing his story on YouTube since May 2017. 
He has traveled to some of the most terrifying locations in Russia to document evidence of ghosts and other bizarre phenomena. By popular request, he returned to a home he had previously investigated and had gotten a lot of response from whatever was living there. According to legend, someone or multiple people are buried underneath. Immediately upon entering, there is still furniture in the house largely untouched, giving the impression the house was vacated rather quickly. The bed even remains done. It's not long after his arrival, he receives his first sign he is not alone. Loud knocks from the living room behind him. Hello? He ventures to the kitchen to investigate, where he is greeted by a door swinging open on its own. This is the dude I was talking about. Like, he crazy, man. He keeps on going back to this place. I don't know if this is the exact same one that, you know, we've seen from just about everybody. Because I feel like every ghost paranormal compilation channel has covered this video. And almost all of them cover all the same videos. But hopefully we'll be able to find some new content tonight. The room the door leads to is full of junk and what appears to be a table and bed frame, but nobody is inside. Curiously, there is a trap door to the attic, which he decides to later investigate. After setting up his equipment, he ventures back to the attic door to have a look inside. Furthermore, it's doubtful anyone is hiding up there as it's too cramped. And the only way to open the trap door is from below. Nothing happens for quite some time until he is nearing the end of an experiment using a Wait a minute. Did I see something big? Furthermore, it's doubtful anyone is hiding up there as it's too cramped. And the only way to open the trap door is from below. Nothing happens for quite some time until he is near. Boy, I thought that was like a big old spider or something in the corner of this of this um chair. Hearing me? See that mess? I thought that was a mess. See, look, y'all, look, now I'm messed up. I'm messed up now because I don't know if I can. I just thought about something I ain't even think about before when it comes to these hunted, banted, a hunted, banted, I can't even talk right. Hunted, bandit, abandoned buildings and, and, and places y'all want me to uh, go to or place, I should say, y'all want me to go to because y'all keep on putting so much emphasis on the fact that I'm close to a million subscribers. I ain't close enough. I got about 99, wait, nope, I can't even do math right. 89,000 subscribers to go more more to go it's gonna take a while to get there but anyway these places might have spiders in them y'all know i don't like spiders right y'all know that right so while everybody else is gonna be looking out for ghosts that's gonna be with me i'm gonna be looking out for both spiders and ghostesses i ain't too happy about that nope uh-uh this this already is not good this ain't no it's not a cool is there a meter, a pe uh, some type of meter that I can use for spiders? Because I'm going to need it. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm stressed out, y'all. Y'all got me stressed out. I'm only doing this once. Don't keep on asking me to dang on go to ghost hunts and stuff like that. I swear, I'm going to smack somebody through the screen. I'm going to reach in there. Bow. No, I'm not doing it once. You understand me? We ain't about to, this is not about to be that channel. We're going to just keep doing This is a reaction channel. You hear me? Okay, good. End of an experiment using a camera flash rapidly firing. After a final flash, a loud sliding noise is heard from under the bed, causing him to retreat. I ain't seen this. <laughs> when he Watch gathers out. the courage to return, he discovers evidence that a box under the bed was moved. As seen by the disturbance in the dust on the ground. Boxes don't move by themselves. Moments after this discovery, he is startled by the same noise under the second bed to his left. He briefly retreats outside to compose himself and eventually returns to the living room. See, he a fool. He keep coming back to this place. And the worst part is, he keep coming back by himself. <clears throat> Bro. You're going to become a permanent part of this home. Whatever spirit is in here is laughing. He's like, <laughs> he keeps coming back. He got five more times to come back and we're going to make him live here. Screw you, Lizzie. <laughs> Thank you for the dinner. Once again, nothing happens for some time until he goes to retrieve another piece of equipment. 
Так, это, мне нужно сейчас будет EGF. Look, man. What was that? Oh, it's the accordion again. Dang on accordion, keep playing itself. You know what? Who left this house? They left this house fully, fully equipped with dishes and, and furniture and stuff. I'm telling you, it's the spirit in here, man. You don't just leave all your stuff behind like this. Kitchen. He is startled when the accordion on his side table suddenly goes off. He watches in shock as it continues to squeeze in and out. The haunting sound emanating from it. That ghost is sitting there playing with a dang on accordion. I knew. I'm out. I'm gone, y'all. Look, not today. Not ever. I ain't playing. This song? He let the... Uh, this man really sat here and let the ghost play a whole song on the accordion. And then he runs after the song is over. What kind of mess? This fool right here. This man don't make no kind of sense. He let the thing play a whole song. And then when it was over, he want to get scared and run. What he think the dang on ghost did? Put the accordion down and start chasing after him? Is that why he decided to run after the song was over? I don't understand. I, he, he, look, I'm telling you, he gonna become a permanent part of this house. He keep going back. Almost proves too much and he rushes into the kitchen, closing the door behind him. However, whatever has been with him this entire time goes after him. Oh! The door once again quickly opens. I was just about to say, I know damn well you don't think you gonna close the door to a house that a ghost owns. You don't think this dang on ghost can get through every dang on door nook and cranny and wall and and crevice and and pipe in this house boy you think closing the door did something you made the thing mad you saw how quick it burst open through that door don't close the door in my house i live here is what that ghost said you a fool i swear look I, that, that ghost need to get you i hope he get you i hope you got got you know Cause you a fool. That's why I'm only doing this mess one time. Cause you know why? I ain't no fool. I ain't gonna keep going back for more. No, I ain't gonna keep chasing after no ghost so it can get me. No, only fools do that. Fool. No. Almost as if it has been kicked open. He kicks the door back to see if there's a response, and he gets one in the form of a door behind him rattling. Clearly terrified, he retreats outside. After some time, he explains he stayed away for about an hour before he returned inside. When this man goes outside for a whole hour and then goes back in. Did the ghost say, hey, <laughs> look, bro, you know, we got off to a bad start. You know, I'm actually Casper, the friendly ghost. You're, you're welcome to come on back in. My, my, this is my bad. I'm not going back in there. You couldn't pay me enough to go back in there. Unless it's Cap. You know, if it's Cap, then it's Cap. We playing if it's Cap. It ain't even real if it's Cap. But if it ain't kept, then I ain't going back. He returns. He sets up a spirit box session, asking questions as the camera continuously takes photos of him. Despite asking questions for several minutes, it takes some time before he receives his first response. <laughs> Almost immediately after, he hears what appears to be shuffling or possibly whispering from beneath the bed next to him. <laughs> After asking if whatever is there can show itself, the wardrobe behind him opens on its own. Pow! I wish 
I wish the ghost would have reached out, snatched them up, and pulled them in there. <clears throat> he deserved it. You know why he deserved it? Because he didn't even notice. I would have noticed. I would have got up. I would have ran up out of there. Ah, I would have noticed. He'll fool. We're we, we going to see this part before. I remember this mess. Without him noticing at first, after the spirit box replied, not enough strength, followed by to pass away. <laughs> when he asks... This man getting text messages from ghosts. I ain't even know ghosts had cell phone service like that. What it meant, it replies, for you. Well, it seems to make sense. The reply would be not enough. Like, this makes no kind of sense, man. Why would the dang on cabinet thing behind him open up if it wasn't going to do nothing to him? The ghost didn't even... <sighs> Look, ghost, if, is there any ghost watching this video right now? If you're going to do something like this, at least do something to the fool. Scare him. Let it be known that you're there. He don't even know that you did that behind him. Of strength in responding to its manifesting, following up with to pass away and for you seems ominous and terrifying. Could the spirit be referring to its desire to take their lives? When he asks what it means, it replies, and you will see us. By now, Dark Ghost can hide the fear on his face, even from behind his face mask. His mannerisms are now that of anxiety. After several moments of silence, he asks if it is still there, only to receive an answer of ear-piercing electrical screams. I got another question. Why this man got a face mask on when he the only one there? Is he trying to hide his identity so people won't see what a fool look like? Or is he really not trying to catch the COVID-19? I don't even want to say it because YouTube, you know, YouTube be picking up on certain words. Why this man got a face mask on? I think he capping. I think there's some other people in this house with him. We just can't see them. And they all have to be, they're not social distancing really because they probably land on the floor right beneath him, opening up cabinets and stuff. So that's why, you know, they got on masks. You know, everybody got to stay safe in that house. Where's this? It's probably a female in the other room responding. Big brain. What is this? At this point, he decides to end the investigation out of fear for his safety. Clearly, whatever remains there is unwelcoming and wants to be left alone. Nah, bro, it wasn't even that serious. It was just the ghost trying to use dial up because they, they cell phone service wasn't really connected with your phone that well. You know, you had Metro PCS, they probably got Verizon, so they had to dial it back and use dial up so they can connect to you. He got scared. He, you know, he, he probably in his early 20s, so he never had to experience dial up like us old folks did. So that's why he got scared. Number three, Epoch Paranormal is the YouTube channel. Because because dial up was scary. Y'all remember that jump? It was real scary. It was so loud. Epoch Paranormal is the YouTube channel of paranormal investigator Joseph Sturgill. You remember, A right? veteran of yep. the YouTube paranormal community. He started uploading in late 2009 during his investigation of West Virginia Penitentiary. Nah, Patrick. You rock. Sturgill managed to capture a terrifying piece of evidence. In the short video, Sturgill explains he had a constant feeling something was behind him. Even though nothing was, it was during a joint investigation, but he says it wasn't any of the other investigators he felt. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Crystal. I see some people on the website cop copping merchandise. As soon as we get done through this first clip, I'm going to be shouting all you guys out. During the walkthrough and prior to the incident, Sturga. Wait, sweet lips, lie dead, wife mine, three feet deep under the... What? That 
That's messed up. They'll document some disturbing graffiti on the wall in one of the cells. While the messages were clearly made long after the prison was shut down, and rather recent judging by the good condition, the words still send shivers up one's spine. Nah, I'm calling cap. Nah, for real though. Like, that looks fresh. And, um, they use an actual marker. I don't think prison inmates could have used the marker. They probably would have had to chisel it in with something. Sweet lips, lie wife, mine three feet under the kicker, reads one, accompanied by three stick figures. Two are laying on the ground, labeled Josh and Alex, while the third position in the middle, Dave, is hanging from the ceiling, labeled Dave. Below these is written, I'll be back, clearly referencing the hauntings occurring in the building. While it is likely the names written on there are the actual perpetrators of the graffiti and it's 100 yeah for real the people that wrote them names are the people that wait the names of the people in the graffiti are the people that probably wrote the graffiti big brain it's likely a simple sick joke it does enhance the chilling atmosphere of the location another creepy message in a different cell reads doing time is a blessing unless you're sick as a dog and do some confessing with a rather impressive skull drawing above it it's enough to make you wonder what drives people to write such messages writings on the wall aside the main feature of the video happens just after the three minute mark Sturgill turns around to face the way he just came and spots what appears to be a tall figure standing in the doorway i don't see it i don't see it isn't it? Oh, wait. Y'all can't see it, period. I'm, my, the fat guy's blocking it. Hold on. Let me move this fat dude out of the way right quick. This dude with the beard. There we go. It looked like there was a person there. He even comments about it, and it looks as if whatever was there. <laughs> he even says it looked like there's a person. Wait. Now I see it. My bad. Emmanuel, thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Rogue, shout out to you, second time in the live stream. Jamie, another long time supporter, making it back to another live stream. Big baby. Moves to the left of the door frame, out of sight. While it is hard to see, the apparition has distinguishable features, including visible arms and legs, while its head is obscured by the top of the frame. All I see is a black figure. I don't see no arms, legs, heads, none of that. Sturgill briefly focuses back on the cell he is in front of before turning the camera back towards the end of the hall. When he pans back, the figure is gone, and the doorway looks unlike what it did before. Nothing looks obscured, and his light goes right through this time. Could this I don't be know. what was following him the entire time? And it I don't know. It kind of looks the same. If it looks the same now, that probably means there was nothing there in the first place. In haunted location. It is difficult to determine the type of ghost one could be dealing with. Is it friendly, malevolent, neutral, scared, in a prison? The motivations of those left behind can be even more difficult. Imagine all the different personalities who resided there when it was open. Thieves, life takers, petty crooks, innocent as well as guilty. Thankfully for Sturgill, it appears on this occasion whatever was following him was nothing more than curious as to who was visiting the prison. You know what's interesting? I watched this one prison show. I think it's on YouTube. But it, it wasn't on YouTube. It might be on YouTube. But I think it was on YouTube. It was a prison, right? You got all different people in there, all different nationalities. And these people would get into fights and stuff. Tell me why everybody that was on that show, it was supposed to be a real prison too. Everybody looked weak. I feel like I could have took every last one of them. It's like they were all different sizes. Some of them way bigger than me. But the fighting, it looked it's so subpar. It's like, yo, these folks don't even know how to fight. I don't know, man. It made me less afraid of prison. Still never want to go. It might have just been that prison. That might have been a prison full of weaklings. I don't know. I'm just at that prison. Just I don't know. I'm talking a lot of junk right now. Leave me alone. Hopefully all future guests only experience the same entity and not something more vicious. Number two. 
Alan Sullivan House is a relic from Cleveland's historical background. Built in 1887, it was the home of Richard N. Allen, the man who invented the paper car wheel, credited with improving passenger travel in the latter half of the 1800s. It was located in what was known as Millionaire Row, an area where the city's elite resided. This included John D. Rockefeller, the famous American entrepreneur and founder of Standard Oil. The home passed from various members of the city's upper class until 1923, when it was sold for alternate use. From there, it was passed from organization to organization until it was abandoned in the 1990s. Bad luck struck there early, when only three years after its completion, Allen passed away suddenly in the home, leaving his wife Susan as the owner for eight years until she moved away. The home was then sold to Jeremiah Sullivan, who too would pass away in the home in 1923. Urbex Hill is an urban explorer joining YouTube in September 2013. In January 2021, he decided to explore the Alan Sullivan house due to its history and frankly cool architecture style. The first thing of note when Hill enters the house is how bare it is, aside from a couple of chairs in the front entrance and the... Yo, I'm copping them chairs, bro. Them like some nice chairs. The house is how bare it is, aside from a couple of... I'm taking them chairs. I'm like real nice chairs. Chairs in the front entrance and the typical paint chips and dust on the floor. I'm surprised that he can even go in here like this. I'm surprised considering the history of this house that it's like not barricaded or something. I don't know. The house is completely bare. This is likely due to either the previous occupants moving all their possessions out when it was abandoned or due to the home's impending demolishing. One room on the second floor, however, is completely filled with furniture and other junk. So much so, Hill cannot even enter. Most of the video runs normally without incident. However, near the end is when the strange occurrence begins. After exploring the basement for a while, Hill is checking out a 2003 newspaper left on his shelf when, from behind, a bottle falls on his side without explanation. He decides to wait for oh. a bit to see if there was something that could have made the bottle fall. Yeah, I do remember this now. We have seen this footage before. We only saw this part. We didn't get none of this other backstory about this house. But that's fascinating, though. Like, that looked look legit. Like, real as heck. Like, this man really had a freaking bottle fall behind him that he didn't touch. Like, this house probably have not been occupied or, or even had visitors in so many years. Why would that bottle just now fall? But all of the bottles on the table are now perfectly still. He even walks right up to the table and his footsteps make no disturbances to what is on it. While he is inspecting the bottles, he hears what- The one bottle that fall that fell was in this plate thing too. That's interesting. Patrick, thank you yet again, brother. Hey, I'm glad that you've been rocking with me for as long as you have. And shout out to Patrick, man, dropping the biggest donos of the night. We ain't here, cuss. Eric, what's going on, brother? Appreciate you. Travis Barnes, I got your order together for you today, brother. Going out first thing tomorrow. Thank you again. It sounds like footsteps coming from in front of him. What's that? And an area blocked off by what appears to be storage for event tables. Unfortunately, the area is so dusty, it is impossible to tell if there are any orbs flying around since they are obscured by the dust particles flying in Heck yeah, it's mad dusty in there, cuz. camera relentlessly. What can be determined is the sounds he is hearing are not made by him, as his footsteps are silent as he walks around the room. <laughs> Figures the activity starts when he is in the basement. At all Man, Urbex Hill is a fool! Also happens to be the most crowded part in the house. Aside from the aforementioned second floor room, the most compelling part of the video is when a chair, seen earlier facing to the right, suddenly bounces off what appears to be a wine rack to the left. <laughs> Hill was not near the chair when it moved, and it is unlikely his steps disturbed it since he had walked closer to it earlier without any issues. All I could think is if I was in a freaking uh, abandoned anything by myself, 
I'd be walking around my boot hole clink so tight. When Hill shows the same clip, but enhanced, it almost appears the chair is pushed against the rack and then lifted up before dropping again. Yep. Not in the sense it is bounced off the rack, but as if it is actually picked up by hand. This is the last encounter Hill has during his visit, and he leaves the house soon after. Well, maybe residing there is... Nah, bro, that was that that looked real. Marcus Scott, I have no idea, zero idea. I ain't even thinking about it. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, um, moderator Steve, let the folks know. Help them out with some of the other ways they could donate. Appreciate you, brother. What's up, Miss? Hold on, that the carpenter. Oh, you already know. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for always hanging out. Mama Dukes, what's going on? Likely to be left unknown. With that house's impending deconstruction inching closer and closer, I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Marina's in the building. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Moderator. Thank you for hanging out with us. Strange people can appear at any time in any place. A YouTuber named Will posted a series of Snapchat stories dealing with one such person who surprised a trio of friends in October. I was just about to say, is this a cop? Them white cops. Yep, they're cops. October 2015. According to the camera operator, a random woman knocked on the door, walked right in when he answered, and locked herself in the bathroom. Are the you serious? What the what? Some random woman. Oh, hey, now, see, this is why you don't be opening the door to no strangers, fool. So some woman knocked at, uh, at the door uh, at his house, walk, walk herself right in, goes to the bathroom, and locks herself in there. How she know how to get to the bathroom? I'm so confused. The group were unsure what to do at first, but eventually called the police. The responding officer spent some time attempting to unlock the door from the outside, all the while receiving no response from the individual. By the time they managed to get in, the woman is passed out on the bathroom floor. What? Soon the fire department and paramedics arrive to assess the woman. The entire ordeal, while definitely bizarre, ends up being one the group and the first responders won't forget anytime soon. What the what? How this woman just passed out on some stuff? What in the world? The woman was clearly not in the right state of mind and confused, needing medical attention. Thankfully, her face is not shown in the clips, as it is easy to imagine how embarrassing this would be to see when she recovered. On another note, for the trio in the house, it is lucky this home invader wasn't there to cause any harm to them. Yeah. They were lucky to not have been visited by more vicious home invaders who are there to take things or possibly people. But I sincerely hope the woman received the care she needed and continues to have anonymity. The that is so fascinating, man. What in the world? That woman, she might have not been in the right state of mind. And she could have possibly thought that she was at home or at a house of somebody that she knew for her to go right to the bathroom. She probably felt sick. She could have been in there, threw up or something, and then end up passing out on the floor. I don't know, but that is wild. What up, hard work? Appreciate you, brother. We out here getting it. Thomas, what's going on with you, dog? Top 10 list has videos that are scary enough to make you drop your phone. All right, y'all. We done got through one video. We're about at the 45-minute mark with almost 3,400 people in here. Shout out to all my folks around the world. Yeah, beautiful mo folks. Y'all, we're about to move on to the next video. This next video is about... The same length as this one this is mysterious videos that will scare you good shout out to my buddy slapped ham y'all boys and girls ready i'm ready this better scare me good let's go i'm about to shout you guys out there's on the website copping stuff right after this video thank you guys oh i remember that footage Whoa, what was that? How you doing? I'm Callan and this and is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at some mysterious videos that are leaving you as baffled. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more eerie content. Just, Just like, like this. this. 
I don't know why I do that every time. I love Slap Hands intro. I love his video. I, I don't know. I feel like I just got to paw every time. I don't know. I'm weird. Leave me alone. Sometimes the scariest paranormal entities are those that can't be seen at all. And while it's often thought that children possess the ability to sense these spirits, sometimes footage surfaces that shows that some adults may be able to see things that others can't. Take a look. Yo, broken heart. With the one single largest dono of the night. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Keep being great. Oh, I remember this fool. If if there's any real ghost footage out here, it's this video right here. Look at this fool. This video was supposedly captured on a security camera. Or, or... He has some psychological problems or some mental issues or some sort. That could be the other answer. In a large shopping center in Mexico City named Plaza Metropoli. At first, we can see a security guard standing next to what appears to be a completely empty dining table. The guard is looking at one of the chairs as if inspecting it. He's he talking. continues to stare at the empty chair, tilting his head before reaching out a hand and waving it over the top. He has a whole conversation. He then begins to talk, suggesting he's not actually inspecting the furniture at all, but rather conversing with an invisible person. He points his finger as if telling the entity to leave. The video then cuts to footage from a different security camera. This one shows the security guard looking around as if double checking to make sure he's not being followed. This dude's bugging, bro. He then opens a door that leads inside and quickly runs from view. The way that the security guard interacts with the supposed inv Somebody says Mexico is haunted. <laughs> visible entity is certainly suspicious. And his behavior at the end of the video seems to suggest that he may have left the area in a panic. The whole country is haunted, huh? Despite the fact that there was clearly no visible presence sitting in the chair, it certainly appears as though he was spooked by something. He proclaimed he was talking to somebody. Could this simply be a case of someone who's worked too long and late and then he's begun to see things Heck yeah. That simply aren't there. Or perhaps he was just pulling a prank on his co-workers sitting in the security office. Maybe that too. That's a possibility. But the most chilling conclusion of all suggests that there really was a ghostly visitor at the mall that night. Did you know you can submit your own paranormal photos and videos? There are currently two ways to submit your content. Firstly, on the amazing Slaptam subreddit. Here we have a growing community of paranormal fans showing off their mysterious wares. Nice. It's a great place to meet other Slaptam fans and discuss all things weird and wonderful. Nice. Secondly, you can submit your content directly via email. Send your photos and videos to submissions at hammedia.net. Nice. The address is written on screen now. Nice. There's links to these two submission options in the description box below. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I hear that. And I'm going to have Slap Ham's video linked down in my description box below. So if y'all got any spooky content y'all want to submit so it can be in his videos, do it. Amusement parks are meant to be places of fun and excitement, where the only terror comes from the incredibly high roller coaster or perhaps the haunted house attraction. Still, from time to time, terror at amusement parks can derive from completely different sources, including apparent ghosts, it seems, as shown in this video. In the brief clip, we see an amusement park at night time. At first glance, all seems normal. However, take a look for yourself and see if you can notice anything creepy. Eh. What? I don't see it. Me see if you slow the footage down, you can see a young girl. I see somebody pointing with their middle finger. Girl at the bottom left corner. Why this fool flicking folks off? Uh, 
Oh, snap. Oh, my God. Yo, that's mad creepy. That's not okay at all. Yo, what the freak of nature? Hey, I see this little girl on the bottom left. If he's slow. Look at her down here. She's right there. Right there. Watch. Watch. Watch closely. She's like one of them scary Asian girls with, with white face. The footage down, you can see a young girl at the bottom left corner. She has long black hair and ghostly white skin. Woo! She's staring directly at the camera and her mouth is completely agape. She's like this. The camera then briefly pans away before once again showing the girl. This time her face appears to be elongated and twisted. girl resembles something straight out of the horror film The Grudge Heck with her chalky yeah. white face and dark hair shout out to my Since people the in the UK captured at an amusement park it's been suggested that the girl could simply be some sort of animatronic display TWD thank you so much shout out to my UK folks we in here others thought it could actually be a real girl who's wearing some creepy makeup However, the way her face and mouth seem to contort out of shape certainly seems unsettling. What do you think's been captured in this video? Could it really be a ghost? Or is there another way to explain this chilling scene? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think's been captured? Oh crap, I thought I turned that down. My bad. In this clip uploaded to TikTok by Skillet Freak, something mysterious seems to have been captured on camera for all to see. Ah, the itch. video appears to show footage taken from a security camera positioned inside the uploader's house. I sees it. We see a man in the kitchen walking towards the living room. Hey, where you come As from? he turns to leave the area through a doorway to the right, a small white object what zips what? past him before disappearing into the kitchen. That was weird. And why he looked like me? Whoa. The object, which narrowly misses the man, also appears to have a long, wispy tail. Shoo. Yo. The TikToker suggests that it could actually be an orb of some sort, which is a common sight in dark places. Another suggestion was that it was actually an object that could have been thrown by some sort of invisible force. I don't know. Well, what do you think? Watch it the footage one more time and judge for yourself. I think it's weird. Yo, that was a perfect arch, too. It looked like it went right in that cup. While zombies have always been considered fictitious, occasionally a piece of footage surfaces that... Yo. This picture is amazing. This is clearly a complete digital picture, but this yuck is art. The way the sun is hitting the trees, the buildings, the cars, the bokeh. If y'all don't know what bokeh means, that means the area that's out of focus. This is a dope picture. Wow. I'm, look, I'm amazed by art. I challenge your beliefs. In this video shared to YouTube by All Life of Kerala, we actually see what suspiciously looks like a real zombie standing by the side of the road. And it's raining? The video is shot from the inside of a car that's driving at night time in the rain. For the first few moments, nothing seems particularly out of the ordinary. Okay. That is until the camera pans to the right. Let me see Take it. A look. Where? Oh, heck nah. Keep driving. As you can see, standing in the rain, there appears to be a zombie-like creature motioning towards the car with an outstretched arm. Nah, it almost looked like a very dirty homeless person that might have been out there in the rain and fell in some mud. What would y'all do? Would y'all pull over and help them? They're not getting in my car with all that filth on them, all dirty and junk looking like that. And then, I don't care if they wasn't looking like that. They still ain't getting in my car. I'm like, oh, look, I'm sorry. You gonna have to find another ride. Somebody that's stupid, because I ain't letting you in my automobile. Nope, not me. Heck, if I had a truck with a truck bed and I ain't even have to open up the window and talk to you and just told you to hop in the back, Still ain't letting you get back there. Nope, not me. Not fooling with you. Despite what we can see, some viewers believe that the figure's not actually a member of the undead at all, but rather a human woman trying... 
Shit, I look, I don't care, male or female. I'm sorry, lady. You got yourself in this predicament. Maybe then again, maybe you didn't, but still, I can't help you. Look, I, I, I value my life too much to F with you. Sorry. To flag the car down. This certainly seems plausible, though it's the jerky movements of the figure's arm that has spooked many viewers. FTM, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Go take your butt to sleep. It's early over there. Shout out to my people in Romania. This is crazy. I got fans around the world. Yeah. Zombie or not, there's certainly something eerie about the figure seen in this video. But does it really prove these creatures roam the earth? Maria, shout out to the boyfriend. What up, Robert? We in here, baby. Based on this footage alone, this is a call that's simply too large to make. Shit, I ain't, nope, I didn't, I'm just gonna be like, I didn't see her, I didn't even see her. I didn't, look, was she there? Nah, I didn't see her. Half human, half animal creatures have long been a staple in myths and legends. Most of the time, these beings are regarded with awe. But on other occasions, they're looked at with disgust and even fear. Could this video, shared by Chaos Magic on Reddit, really prove that these mythical creatures might actually exist? According to the timestamp, the footage was captured just on 3.30 in the morning. We could see a dog standing in the middle of the road, just as a mysterious... No YY's TV, you deserve the world, baby. As the woman comes closer, keen-eyed viewers might be able to notice something up. That's what I'm saying, Tegan. She wasn't there. There was nobody there. I couldn't help her because she wasn't real. For most, it's probably not until you zoom in that the mystery becomes apparent. The woman appears to have legs similar to that of a goat. <laughs> We've seen this clip before. About 50 lem times. As soon as the woman appears on camera, the dog's attention is immediately drawn to her. Yo, her legs look mad weird, bro. Could it be that the dog knows something? This this video is super suspect, bro. That's a real ghost, ghost, goat woman. It's not quite right. The woman continues her early morning stroll some ways down the road before eventually turning around and... Y'all, we got about 3,700 people in here. If you love me, hit that like button. If you don't, then you don't love me. Walking back in the direction she came from. Once again, the dog turns to stare at her. Its reaction similar to that of several viewers. Confusion and perhaps even a little bit of fear. I don't like her legs, man. That Look, that dog know what's up too. That dog like, nah, I ain't even gonna bark at that. That ain't human. That Something ain't right about that. Hug her legs too hairy. Women don't be doing that like that. Throughout history, creatures with the... That's what the dog was thinking. That dog was like, I don't lick the, uh, a, a human leg. A female leg? That ain't no female. The upper body of a human and the legs of a goat or horse have typically been referred to as satyruses or fawns. But what do you think? Could this video really have captured proof that these mythical creatures do live... Every time she pick her leg up, that junk look like it go up into her dress... And it dropped down. Look at the gap between her legs. Nah, that ain't right. Among Us. I'm and, watching. and why it look like her dang on kneecaps facing backwards? I'm telling you, something ain't right about this. I don't, I can't F with this. Certainly, there's been no further explanation given for what's happening in this video. So at least for now, viewers will simply have to draw their own conclusions. For some, walking alone in a dark parking garage can be an uneasy... For everybody that's dropping donos, I see what the moderator said. For everybody that's dropping donos on the Cash App, I appreciate y'all. Make sure you put the Z at the end for Artie Kicks. Everything y'all follow me on, Artie Kicks is with the Z at the end. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't got a Z, it ain't me, baby. Woo -woo! The experience. Your imagination starts to play tricks on you and you begin to wonder what could be lurking around the next corner. Usually, however, these places are relatively safe, often protected by a gate and several security cameras that monitor every vehicle that comes in and goes out. Y'all, I finally installed my um my dash camera today. Already got footage. Folks cannot drive out here, I swear. In this video, it appears that something mysterious has somehow managed to make its way inside one of these garages. Let me see. What is it exactly? 
take a look and see for yourself. It's a garage? Okay. What the what? As you can see, a person is walking towards their car. They're carrying a bag in each hand. Then, just as they set their items down, a dark flying object speeds by, disappearing off screen. That was a whole person. It appears to travel at such speeds that it actually sets off several car alarms as their lights begin to blink on and off. In fact, if you slow the foot... Time to use my big brain. I was just, I was down here activating it. That's why I had my head down. I was activating big brain power. So what really what happened was, I'm, I'm going to tell you really what's going on since there ain't no audio in this footage. I'm going to explain what's really going on. And even if there is audio, the audio was added later. But I'm going to explain what's going on here. You understand me? Listen up. Use your ears because I'm about to break brain you right now. Look. See these automobiles right here? Supposedly, whatever this thing that flew by, which I'm calling. But supposedly, whatever that was that flew by set the alarm off on all these vehicles. I know darn well y'all don't think every last one of these vehicles got alarm on it. Some of the alarms on these vehicles broke. I'm telling you, I know. I know cars. That that car right there too old. That it, the alarm don't even work. But anyway, what they did was they used a video editing software, pretty a, a decent one at that. And they, you know, they turned the lights on on these cars. They, they, they made it seem as though the alarms went off at the exact same time. If you ever been out in public somewhere and somebody and the gun went off, or hopefully that that ain't the case, but uh, if you drove by and somebody had a loud stereo speakers or something go off and make car alarms go sound, you you know you you know what I'm talking about. The cars don't all go off at the exact same time. If, Cars be blinking. All them cars is blinking at the exact same time as if they had the exact same alarm system. That's how you know it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know right there just to start with. You know what I'm saying? Secondly, what this man, the reason why this man turned around is somebody might have honked the horn. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get past somebody. It just, you know, it was just enough for him to just turn back just to see what the commotion was. It had nothing to do with him. He didn't see something fly by him. Somebody might have been like, hey, wasn't even talking to him. Could have been yelling at somebody else. But he thought it was addressing him. He thought it was directed at him. So he turned back to see who that was and what they wanted only to find out that they weren't trying to talk to him. They was they were hollering at somebody else. There's a lot of explanations here. But since this is video footage recorded, somebody's like, hey, let's alter this. Let's play with it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and take this video footage of this man pulling up to his vehicle, walking up to his vehicle, about to put the, the stuff in the trunk. Since he looked back, you know, I don't see what he looked back at. Let's just play with this footage and make it seem like something flew by. We, we're pretty good editors. We're going to edit something flying by. And we're going to set the alarm off on these vehicles. That was my big brain. It was working. Overload. Overload big brain status. Watch. Tell me I'm, li tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. They're carrying a bag in each hand. Then, just as they set their items down, a dark flying object speeds by, disappearing off screen. No, it didn't. I'm a, I want to pause that dark flying object looking like a weatch. Dark flying object. What is that? That look almost like it's supposed to be a person, but it ain't got no shoes. It don't even got feet for shoes. It's just a blob of pants. I see like what could be a body formation and then some legs or pants. Look at it. I done exposed how crappy it looks. I don't know what the frame rate is. I can't pause it too much. See, they tried. They even put a shadow on the ground, too. Dark flying object speeds by, disappearing off screen. It's funny because the way it speeds by, it almost seems as though it makes a trail. And the trail turns into the lights flashing on these cars, which is supposed to be the alarm sounding off. 
and they all blink at the exact same time. Look, I work the automobile industry. I know tail lights don't blink the same, even if the the name brand of the car is the exact same. The tail lights don't blink the same. It appears to travel at such speeds that it actually sets off several car alarms. It had to be going real loud. And how did that thing didn't crash into something? It's, it's going low enough. Somebody pull out, uh, they crash right into it. As their lights begin to blink on and off. In fact, if you slow the footage down, the object is traveling so fast that it makes it difficult to even get a clear look at it. Furthermore, a second viewing of the clip appears to reveal that the person actually reacts to the car alarms being set off and doesn't even seem to notice the strange object that whizzes by. As the mysterious shape seems impossible to identify, all we can do is speculate over what it could actually be. Was it some type of supernatural being, or perhaps even an alien craft? Give the video another uh, watch and let me know what you think in the comments section. It don't look below. like an alien craft. It looked like a. It looked like they wanted it to be a person that flew by. See, I know a lot of folks don't like that I went so in depth on that clip to that, to attempt to debunk it with logical thinking. You can kiss all my booty because this is my channel. I'm gonna talk how I want to talk as much as I want to talk. Thank you. You don't like it? You can leave. But anyway, I got more to say. Nah, I don't even care no more. When discussing possible ways that the world might end, meteors are always in the mix. After all, it was a meteor that ended the reign of the dinosaurs millions of years ago. Was it now? In this YouTube video shared by Overwatch Security and Viral Hog, we get to see a first-hand account of what the end of the world might actually look like. Let me see. According to the uploader, this extraordinary footage was captured on a body cam. We first see a bench along a path by the beach. The camera holder sits down, revealing a shot of the ocean and the dark, cloudy sky above. Yeah, we got over 4,000 people in here. Welcome, everybody. A few seconds, nothing happens. But watch what happens next. Sky lighting up. Whoa. Whoa. As you can see, an enormous bright light appears in the sky. It speeds towards the horizon. Suddenly, there's a deafening boom and the object leaves a fiery trail in its wake. The overwhelming consensus is that the object is in fact a meteorite entering Earth's atmosphere. However, it's also been suggested that it could have been an out-of-control alien craft that plummeted into the ocean. Possibly. Other viewers wondered how the camera holder was able to remain so steady during the event. They also noted that there doesn't appear to be a reflection on the water, a sign perhaps that the video was faked. I'm calling cat. But what do you think this video shows? Meteorite, alien craft, or a doctored hoax? Either way, this footage is certainly jaw-dropping. I'm calling cat. That just so happens to happen as soon as he sit down and records. I know what we look. Big brain time. Big brain time. So what happened was. This fool is out, you know, nice sunny day, just chilling, recording the scenery, you know, realizing when they got home to view the footage, how boring the footage was. They were like, man, ain't nobody going to want to watch this. What can I do? What can I do to alter this footage to make people want to watch it? Oh, I know. I'm going to make it seem like something flew through the sky and landed in the ocean. It's going to be a lot of mystery behind it. Even if I got 500 views, it's better than the five views I would have got. If I just recorded this little day in the life nothingness of this video and just posted it to Instagram or YouTube, I'm going I'm to I'm put something in the sky so it can get 500 views now. That's what I'm going to do. And people going to wonder, was it a meteorite? Was it alien? 
Nah, it was just me with my editing skills. Before we take a look at a possible Yeti sighting deep in the Russian wilderness, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, remember to punch that like button right in the schnoz. Tickle that bell, baby. Whether or not Yetis actually exist has been the source of much debate for years. Supposed sightings of this elusive creature are often blurry or very clearly hoaxed. I think I posted a video yesterday talking about um, supposedly Yetis did exist, but they were just another form of a bear. And I can't remember what country it was in, but they were just, they were bears, but they were bears that are now extinct. As camera quality improves, sightings of the mysterious Yeti continue. And if it really does exist, then hopefully irrefutable proof will soon be captured. Yeah. In this video uploaded to YouTube by Jay Kelly, something mysterious has been caught on camera in the Russian wilderness. Oh really? But is it a Yeti? Take a look and Let judge see. for yourself. Let me see it. Bruh. Bruh. The footage was supposedly captured on dash cam in the Russian Republic of Bashkortostan, which is near... I think somebody peed on that yelly, yelly, yeti. And why was that yeti like... Was that a baby yeti or a, or, or a kid yeti? Because he was short. He was short as heck. And he was yellow. Like I said, I think somebody peed on him. Turned his J into an R and that's who peed on him. Spears is being caught on camera in the Russian wilderness. <laughs> Is it a I'm so wrong. Yeti. Take a look and judge yourself. Watch. The snow is whiter. Look at that little short thing. It's, it's a baby. And it's yellow. Look at that. That's what you call a human. That's one of their buddies that they dropped off. They're like, hey, bro. Go run up ahead. And let me uh, and, and run past the camera. Make it seem as though you're a Yeti. They were bored. You know, they trying to they trying to go viral. They trying to start their YouTube career. <laughs> Look, I'm just like I'm 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 I don't wanna curse, but I'm shitting oops, I said it on all these videos tonight. <laughs> yeah, y'all know I love these folks, man, but you know if it don't look real to me, I'm I'm gonna say it don't look real to me. You know, I just keep it a hundred. That's all I can do. That's cap. For those that just got to the stream, they're coming tomorrow. They're going to be available on the website this Friday. Only 50 available in two different options. That's cap, baby. That's cap. The footage was supposedly captured on dash cam in the Russian Republic of Bashkortostan, which is near its border with Kazakhstan. In the video, we see a vehicle traveling along a snowy road. With nothing except headlines to illuminate the way, the vehicle cautiously continues into the darkness. Suddenly, a hairy, ape-like figure darts across the road. Look at that little yellow thing. That little yellow thing. He like he just splashed in a puddle of pee. The vehicle comes to an immediate stop as sounds of... Nah, that wasn't no polar bear. Who said that? Um, Armando, nah, that wasn't no polar bear. Po polar bears don't run on their hind legs. Amazement from the passengers can be heard. The vehicle then continues forward until it reaches the tracks of the creature, allowing the occupants to get a closer look. Some viewers thought that the figure could have simply been a large human male. Nah, that was a short human male. That dude was about 5'4". He was 5'4". I gotta show y'all something real quick. So if everybody's wondering what the back of the caps that are coming look like tomorrow, it looks just like this. So this is the Karen cap. You see in the back is Velcro. 
it sticks very, very well. So it can adjust to the different size of your head. It's Velcro. I love these caps. I've been rocking them for years, baby. They're my favorite caps. However, others disagree. And all of my caps are like that, too. Greed, citing the creatures. Embroidered, embroidered. The good stuff. Impressive size and seemingly hairy appearance as evidence that it was something else entirely. It wasn't really a Yeti. While the video is certainly... Nah, that fool almost fell. Did you see that? He tripped right there. Nah, Yetis, Yetis are more graceful than that. They've been running through the snow their whole life. They don't trip and fall ever. And they're faster. It wasn't really a Yeti. Look at that fool. He about to trip right there. His foot went in the snow because his foot ain't big enough like a real Yeti. While the video... Bloop right there. You saw him? He got stuck. Yeah, it was certainly intriguing. It slowed him down. He was like, oh, I almost fell. I got to keep running. It does appear to show something strange. It only adds to the mystery of the Yeti rather than solve it. Hopefully one day we can learn the truth behind this elusive creature once and for all. Bruh. I wish a Yeti would. <laughs> Alright y'all, we got one more video. We're at the hour and 15 minute mark and this is going to get us the rest of the way. We usually do these for about an hour and a half. Alright, this is top 15 scary videos that left me shook. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Number 15. Uh oh. The Student Stampede of Arkansas. Why these fools running? A football game in Arkansas became the center of panic when people began fleeing a packed stadium. Why? Most without fully knowing what was going on. Every I bet you one <laughs> I bet you one person just ran just to be running and they were looking back like, oh my god. And then everybody else started running. Everyone is climbing the walls like a horror movie to get away. Get away from what? From an unseen threat chasing them all. As it turns out, all of this started when a few people ran away. Told you! I was right! Boy, look, big, big brain power fully activated tonight, boy! I was right. I was right. People started fake running as if they were being chased by something, and then everybody else started running running and panicking. Look at these folks over here. She, she's like, oh my God, it's coming at me. It's gonna get me. She don't even know what the heck she's running from. This girl over here freaking climbing. Look, all these folks climbing over this wall trying to get away from an uh, uh, unknown threat. They don't even know what it is. They all scared for nothing. Big bunch of babies. After a deployed taser was mistaken for something much more serious, their screaming and running triggered a fight or flight response that soon swept across the whole stadium. All them folks know is they gotta get out of there. They're like, yo, where's the nearest exit? Oh, everybody's running that way? There gotta be exits all over this place. I'm not running in the same direction as everybody else. Um, it's both fascinating and scary how easily we refer to a mob mentality when a potential threat looms near. So the next time you're at a large gathering, don't forget this video or the fact you're just one strange event away from a total stampede. Man, every time I see some stuff like this where you where's a large group of people and something happens and you gotta run, all I know is I don't wanna be there with a big person. Because I know me, I'm going to end up staying behind to help my big person out. You know what I'm saying? My overweight person that can't run, they can barely walk. I'd be like, oh, look, look, we about to, we about to go down together because I can't leave you. Number 14, five stars. Oh, snap. The scariest things caught on camera can often happen fast and make little sense. Let's help put this video into better context. There's all these other boats behind him for some reason. Yo, this fool is being chased. This is a Colombian drug runner. And whew, he's trying to bring these drugs into, into Florida. And they, they chasing him. 
This water looks filthy. This can't be Florida. And friends following, enemies chasing, no idea. Some pirates. And he says something a few moments before the scary stuff happens. What? Tell me what it is and what language to. <laughs> Some comments say the pilot was in perfect control, and others argue that he almost lost it. For some reason, I feel like this could be a controlled stunt, and they're Nah, I don't know if it's a stunt, but I know that pilot was definitely in control. That, that pilot wasn't about to go down. That pilot, no, that pilot was complete control. If anything, he was trying to get close to scare his boat. He know what he... he, he you were flying that thing. Directing a foreign movie or something. Anyway, that's all of the mysterious things I could analyze about this bizarre clip. So if you have any answers or insights, then let me know what's going on here. Number 13. Numero 3. I forgot Spanish. Snow way. <laughs> Things are about to get grisly for this individual when he goes snowmobiling up a steep ridge. He can't quite see what's up ahead until it's almost too late. Hope you got enough gas to get away from the bear. Uh-oh. It's a bear. Is the bear moving or is standing there? A male grizzly bear eyes him curiously from meters away, and he's so freaked out that he almost collides oh, with no. a tree on his way out. That bear would have been on him had that happened. I looked it up, and grizzly bears have no natural fear of humans Heck and no. have been reported to occasionally track them. Heck All yeah. the more reason for this snowmobiler to get out of there fast. Number 12. Uh-uh. Nah. Look. Grizzly bears and brown or black bears, two different beasts. Two different beasts. Black ones, they they're a lot smaller, but them grizzlies, whoo, some big mofos. Top heavy. Getting stuck behind a box truck is usually nothing more than an inconvenience, but one dash cam video shows how scary it can be when the rules of the road are forced to submit to the laws of nature. Storm winds are pounding the Verrazano Narrows Bridge on Staten Island. Pushing this truck to its tipping point as they pass under a sign warning of sudden stops on the slick and surface. Heck no. Nah. Slower traffic should ordinarily be Heck on the nah. right, but this is an ex. That truck look like it's struggling to get up this dang on hill of a bridge. I would not be behind it for nothing in the world. Exception. The box truck has to stay in the center lane because it could literally tip off the bridge otherwise. Other cars risk getting flattened as they pass by. No. Look at this fool in the truck. Nah, you a fool. I wouldn't have get I wouldn't got that close behind that thing. Not understanding how dire the situation is. Soon the box truck has slowed to about 15 miles per hour, I'd say, and the driver recording has no choice but to pass. His dash cam picks up some tense and scary moments. You might want to pass him faster, and that's not a dash cam. That's a cell phone that he recording this with. Because getting crushed is a real possibility, but he passes on the side where the truck isn't tipping and gets away. It's a good thing, too. I can't show you what happens, but he... Hey, Jessica, you made it. What's going on, woman? What up, Chad? Blessings, brother. Thank you. Finally made it able to get a wish of Karen Wood pullover. Can't wait. I'm going to ship it out to you soon, baby girl. Thank you, Maria. He sees the box truck on his way back. And let's just say they unfortunately didn't make their delivery on time that day. Everybody, I promise y'all, after this video in particular, I'm going to be doing the shout outs to everybody that's copying merch on the website. Bear with us, baby. We got over 4,000 people in here. Let's get through this one video. Number 11, take out. What are you, man? Oh heck nah! You think that bear can't do much? It's gonna get one of y'all folks. Duh! Use use your brain. Use your brain. And for that moment earlier, when my brain shut down, when I was trying to think of that that number in Spanish, it was trece. I think. I'm still messing up. Big brain stuff. Anyway, look, that bear can get one of y'all. Oh, oh hey, see? Look, that bear's like, I'm cruising through the water 
Once I get out, I'm gonna charge. As soon as that bear got on land, it started running. They lose a grizzly bear in the brush and film wildly anxious. Woo, it's running straight after they. They're like, oh, look, it's, it's three of us. He can't do nothing. He can take all three of y'all out one at a time, stupid. I hope he get you first. The one that said that he gonna get you and then he gonna get your buddy and then he gonna get your other buddy. I don't mean that y'all. Y'all know I'm just playing. But for real, it could happen. Actually awaiting its charging return. I feel like its large head and gnashing teeth are going to pop out. I can't believe this fool just sits here and just continues to record as a bear charges right towards him. I'm running. And I'm screaming like a biatch at the same time. But at any second, and it isn't going to end well. I'm not an expert, but calmly backing away without turning around. See, this fool is walking backwards. You need to be running. If you're gonna record the bear and keep recording, you should you should do this. Run! Be running and recording like that, you know, or like run that way and record that way like run! that's what you should do but nah you you, you stupid it's better than filming an early demise oh so it was like 80 y'all out there that's why y'all thought y'all that bear could take all 80 y'all out and have enough food to hibernate with get out of here that bear don't speak english why don't you get out of there you in his territory sucker Little brain people. Luckily for them, this animal is more interested in taking a tasty fish they've caught. There's not much for the group to do except admit defeat and be thankful humans weren't on the menu that night. For real, because if y'all was, all y'all would be. I wonder if the bear would have bothered them if they didn't have the fish, or was the fish the only thing that kept humans off the menu that day? Number 10, let- Oh my god, I'm so ignorant. Wesley is missing on August 29th. Shout out to Alex, thank you brother for the don't know. Y'all heard what the man said? If you love me, hit that like button. 9th, 2020, Leslie Palacio is caught on multiple CCTV camera systems, walking into a restaurant and sitting down. It looks like an ordinary meal, no dramatic conversation, and then she walks back to her car. She had passed away when she was found in February of 2021. I was about to say, what? She passed away? Now I'm about to say, this is definitely something somewhat recent because Everybody's wearing face masks, but what how, what did she how did she pass away? The man she is with shows his face at 1 minute and 55 seconds. He is believed to have fled the country and is wanted internationally. Her father was taken in for questioning and may or may not have had something to do with her disappearance. It may be too late to get Leslie back safe, but it's not too late to get justice for what happened. I want to spread awareness about this case, so take a good look at the face, clothes, the way they walk, their truck, anything, and let's try to make a difference with her case. Number 9, 2021 Aerial Encounter. On February 25th, 2021, there were reports of an encounter with a fast moving cylinder shape over New Mexico. The flight bound from Ohio to Arizona has no video evidence of the encounter, but they have leaked audio tapes. Have any targets up here? We just had something go right over the top of us that. I hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of it. I don't know what small cylinder object moves over planes. No drones should be up that high, but maybe it was a weather balloon type project or something. Even the FBI acknowledges that they are familiar with the event, and if this video evidence has not been released yet, then maybe there is something on those tapes worth seeing. Number 8, The Victory Dive. Some friends in Aspen, Colorado are videotaping in celebration because they're almost at the top of some mountains when some crazy pilot decides to show them how easy it is to climb down. Oh, 
was crazy. They aren't sure if this is an adrenaline junkie or a mechanical failure and are surprised when the pilot pulls up and flies away. That I was can't crazy. imagine how many times they've practiced this, but I doubt it was the pilot's first. And yet if they tried that too was many crazy. Heck nah, that pilot was showing out, man. That was dope. More times, it would probably one day be the last. Number seven, the crosswalk. Keep an eye on this man because things are about to get scary when he swings her handlebars around. An apparent random act of aggression turns out to be a life-saving event when a car goes careening past. Whoa! What? Dude, this dude is like a guardian angel or something. That's insane. He acted so quick. See, when he swings her handlebars around, an apparent random act of aggression turns out to be a life-saving event. When a car goes careening past seconds later, he scolds her, but when he calms down moments later, he looks to apologize and explain that he was doing what needed to be done. There was no time to call out and no other way to stop the accident. Wow. And though his actions are rough, it is without a doubt that he saved a life that day. Number six, spooky surveillance sighting. Creepy Cali ghost footage found in Orange County shows some odd activity taking place across the street when a weird, mysterious, and possibly paranormal figure one floor below walks behind the wall and does not come back out. Either it stayed behind this wall or else it up and disappeared. Proof of the paranormal walks behind the wall and does not come back out. Either it stayed behind this wall or else it up and disappeared. Proof of the paranormal is what the uploader is pushing this footage as, but the ghost is too small and far away to tell. This sighting would be really weird to see on a security camera, assuming the strange event is real. Number 5, Andrew looks up. There's not a ghost in this hellacious hallway yet, but there's about to be one soon. Andrew's own. All I see he is heard black. weird noises from above and hit record moments before nearly getting taken out by his own ceiling which is 100 years old but here's the thing the same situation can happen in newer houses as well if the plaster is not mixed right check your ceilings for small spiderweb cracks or sunken areas especially for small cracks that run from the ceiling to wall and fix all that's crazy that he just so happened to be recording when that happens that's crazy all of it fast otherwise something like this video could happen Number four, James sees his shadow. James Gabriel sees his shadow. And guess what else? What? His shadow sees him too. That wasn't a shadow, that was a chair. That was a chair. <laughs> When he leans around to see what a noise was. You can't even see. It could have been somebody ducked down right there that pulled a chair by the seat. Was a mysterious shadow figure is caught on camera. That's a chair. Chills. Chill. Chills. That's a chair. Chills. Clearly. It's a freaking work chair. Camera imitating his behavior on the other side. It ain't imitating nothing. Somebody sent me a... Well, I think I posted something yesterday or the day before... And on Instagram, and then somebody responded. They're like, "If that was chills, he better he would have been reaching." It was something funny, man. I was like, "Yo, that was that could have been a meme." Right. He gets up and does not check the area. Just leaves. Apparently, this was enough paranormal proof that he didn't creep himself out further by staying. I think it could be a friend of his unless he gets a closer look. Hopefully he goes investigating the area for more sightings in the future. Though I understand if being in one real ghost video is enough for him. Yeah, we almost got 4,200 people in here, man. This is the most we've had in here in a while. 
in one stream at once, baby. Number three, ghost person. Duh, yeah, exactly. Um, Ray Mantis. It's so clear that it's a chair. Troll meat. I see why your name is Troll Meat, cause you just a troll. It was a chair. Clear as day. It opens ghost door. Do ghosts use doorknobs? That's a question to answer yourself while watching this paranormal video of an old haunted stairwell. Surveillance footage shows a mystifying figure caught in the fluorescent glow of an overhead light, a ghost who floats up adjacent to the staircase and floats back down, a quick and casual haunting jaunt. Now here's the creepiest thing about Ah, the that's a bug. I saw the wings flapping. I saw the flappity wings. At first it did kind of look like Somebody walked to this door from like nowhere or like the back of this staircase. But when you go in reverse, it looked more like a bug. You could see it more clearly. I saw the wings flapping. The CCTV video at 37 seconds. Like a moth. The light anomaly reaches for the knob and leaps through a door that does not open. That was, that was, that was, there's no knob. That was a wing. A human-shaped light anomaly floats up and back without using the steps and leaves through a closed door. It's a, it's that's a, like that's a moth. I bet. Thirty different camera glitches at once. At that point, it's probably paranormal. Number two, eerie haunted driveway video. If you don't think that was a chair, get your eyes fixed. Go look again. Get your eyes fixed. Zoom in. It's a chair. Oh. Runs with scissors posted this intriguing CCTV video on the Chills Narrator subreddit of some scary moments caught on tape at the end of his driveway. The paranormal activity begins at 21 seconds when a mysterious figure appears. 26 seconds later, they turn into what he calls a ball of light and then turns back to normal. If you could even call it that. This is scary stuff and looks paranormal, but one thing about the video I'm curious about is whether or not it's someone holding a phone over their head. 31 seconds would be where they would throw it over their head to make the glowing screen look like a bouncing ghost orb. They disappear because they are no longer in the phone's glow. It sounds like a proper explanation sequence of events to me, but I want to hear- I love how Chills try to come up with an explanation for what it is that we're seeing. I mean, hell, your guess is better than mine, Chills, because I can't make out what that could have been. Uh, unless it was, like, completely cap, where someone, like, yo, I noticed that on our cameras, like, from a distance, you, can, you can't really make out if a person walks by. You can see something moving, but you can't really make them out unless there's, like, clear indication of a light. So they're like, they are like oh, let's go back here and and wave our phone in the air in like a little wave in motion as we walk by behind the cars. Hear what everyone else thinks first. I've got a challenge for you. What y'all think? What y'all think about it? Finally caught alive. Welcome. Metal Death Trap. Welcome to the live stream, big baby. You made it. That's what I'm saying, Raina. Miss Smith. Shout out to you. You always up in here. That was clearly a chair. King Squad is too busy smiling for the camera. Look at all these happy cheerleaders. And look at that one guy. Is he a cheerleader? Or is he happy to be amongst the cheerleaders? To notice a rather out of place looking stranger lurking in the background. Creepy. Yet mysterious. This figure is downright terrifying. Creepy. What do you think of the scary sighting of a girl all by herself? That's a ghost all by themselves trying to get in the picture. Because they was a former cheerleader or wanted to be, but they didn't make the team. Is it a ghost? A Photoshop, perhaps? Maybe. My vote goes to a mid-2000s low-pixel count digital camera mixed with poor lighting. But if I'm wrong, then this photograph is indeed beyond creepy. I, li I like your explanation, Chills. He said, you know, it's an early 2000s low-megapixel camera. Just kind of just throwing us off. I, I, I asked with that. I asked with that. Thanks for checking. Hey, yo, yo, look, look, we done made it to the end of the live stream, baby. It's time for me to do some shout-outs, you guys. Let me uh, see. We got a couple of 
um, PayPal, Cash App donations, and people on the website copping merchandise and stuff. But I need you guys, another thing I need y'all to do is go ahead and spam the chat right now and let the people of the world know where you are. We need to know where y'all let, where y'all watching this from. Spam the chat. I'm going to be shouting out the different places around the world where y'all are hanging out with us. But let me go on the website as well and see what you guys uncopped. Give me a moment here. Thank you, everybody that hung out with us today and is still hanging out with us. Give me a moment. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Let's see. Let me see. There we go. Boom. Corin. Shout out to Corin. Thank you for the don't know. Misty. Shout out to Misty. Big brain cat power. You already know. Todd. Shout out to Todd. Todd K. Maria R. Shout out to you. Uh, wish I could do more, but I got, hey, hey, you got two t-shirts? That's what's up. I think I remember seeing your order. Andy, always in here. Talk about some peekaboo. Cynthia, what's going on? Did you follow me today on Instagram? I, that, that same face thing looked familiar. I think I was scrolling through Instagram and noticed you. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Salma, my homegirl Salma. Look, Salma, if you watching, I need, I need to link up with you and Zach. You know, I got your shirts. I got your shirts. Um. Uh, but yeah, shout out to my homegirl, Salma. Nikki, I'm here. Boyfriend said, thanks for the birthday. Shout out on Friday. Tell your birth tell your boyfriend again. I said happy belated. Heath B, thank you for the don't know. Brent was in here a few times trying to scare your boy. Christopher, Christopher H, always OG subscriber. That's right. Always up in here. Always doing a thing. Renora, see you again. You always keep me entertained while I'm at work. I'm glad I could do that for you. Trisha, thanks for making my birthday awesome. Aw, I'm glad I could do that. That's dope. That is so dope. Love the kids' mask. My daughter's ecstatic. Ah, Keisha, that's what's up. I'm glad she likes the mask. Erica, on time. Can't wait for my merch. Hey, it's coming soon, baby. It's coming. What's this, Jenny? Says, keep that head up yours. Hey, I will. You already know. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Give me a moment, everybody. Give me a moment. I'm about to shout you guys out. Let's see what y'all let in the world. Let me scroll back up a bit. Let me scroll back up. want to see my folks at around the world. We got some folks in here from Tampa, Minnesota. Hold on, let me get on Instagram. I got to put y'all in the Instagram story. Uh oh, we don't have quite a few. We don't have about five hundred people drop off. It's all good, man. Yeah, my, my 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 real ones. They know what's up. They know what's up. They know to keep their butts up in here. Yeah, we got Tampa, Florida. We got Seattle. We got London. We got the UK. We got Texas up in here. Virginia, Baltimore. Man, look, we got Berlin. We got folks all around the world. Detroit. Um, what's that? Orlando. Virginia, Oregon, Colorado. Got my Georgia native folks up in here. Arkansas. Man, we got folks for, uh, what was that? Romania up in here. Y'all already know. You might see your name on my Instagram story. You got to go check it out. Kimberly, what you talking about, woman? Can you do one more video, please? Having such a good time here. You know what? That, I like the way that sounded. You're having a great time here. You want me to do one more video? I like the way that sounded. Duchess, love your live stream. Appreciate you. Melanie out there in Kentucky. Michelle, keep it up. You know I will, baby girl. You know I will. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you. Let me see. Let me see here. Let me see. Her. Yeah, we got some folks in Atlanta. Who that is? What a jet. What up, Jack? One more. Folks over here talking about one more video. Always. They always got to. Don't y'all know I got orders to get together, get out the door for my people all around the world tomorrow. I'm trying to get these orders out the door, man. I got to stay up a little bit late tonight for y'all, man. I plan on taking my butt to bed at least by 2. It's about to be 11 o'clock. I got to stay up a little bit. Hold on. Let me, let me go over here. 
I got to do my order shout out. So I'm about to do those short be shortly, but let me go back to the channel real quick. I got to do some investigation. Where we at? We got 22. We got 22. I got to stay up a little bit later. Hold on. I'm talking over here. I'm trying to talk to myself, talk to y'all. Y'all, we got 2,200 likes. Can we get to 3,000? We can get to 3,000 likes, man. Look, I'll give you one more, but let me do these shout outs. In, in, in the meantime, in between time, but let me get them 3,000 likes for the YouTube algorithm. We'll do one more video. Shot Gaming, you know, hey, nonetheless, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you so much for hanging out with us, dropping a don't know. Y'all know y'all don't have to, but I appreciate it so much. Helps the channel grow. Helps the channel grow. But y'all, uh, uh, again, too, you know, I still have the, um, the, what is it called? The GoFundMe in place for the uh, million subscriber ghost hunt that I plan on doing where I'm treating a bunch of my friends. Um, if y'all go and read that, uh, you'll see that um, if we hit the goal of, what, $10,000 by the million subscriber mark, I'll be donating all that money to a mental health, um, I don't know, a mental health, what is it called? Um, ah, I can't think. My, my mind ain't been in the right place to damn self. <laughs> but y'all know, I be donating the money regardless. But um, but if we don't, then I'll des definitely use that money to fund the trip. But let me see what you guys are talking about. Hold on, let me get back up in here. Let me get back up in the There it is. A few more people done slid in. Jennifer Reed, shout out to Jennifer Reed. Christopher, what if no ghosts are on your ghost hunt? Do one more? Nope. <laughs> if there ain't no ghosts, then I got away scotch free. That's a good thing, baby. Chris, I'm doing great, brother. Thank you for asking. Ashley, Ashley M, always making it. I don't, I don't know how she do it. She never misses a live stream, man. This, this is magical. Dominic, thank you. Thank you for the don't know. I appreciate you. King Cole, always up in here. Bought, bought, bought some merch. Shout out to my wife, Matasha. Oh, I know Matasha. I know Matasha. Shout out to Matasha. Ren says, hope I can get on the new cap. Yeah, the new cap's coming tomorrow, y'all. The caps are coming tomorrow. I can't wait. I cannot wait. They will be available on the website Friday, this Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They will be available, but they're coming tomorrow. It's going to be, excuse me, there's going to be 50 in the blue. You know, the little emoji is blue. So it's going to be 50 in the blue and 50 in the black available. Excuse me. And everything that's currently on the website right now, there will no, there will not be any restocks of. It's time to move on past this merchandise. So all only the real ones are copping the merchandise now. Y'all are part of the exclusive few that get to get some merchandise autographed from your boy. I can't supply everybody that subscribed to me, but I could do at least a thousand folks. <laughs> at least a thousand. I ain't got a whole lot of merch, but I could do a few of y'all folks. But um back to the website. I'm that's what I was about to do. I'm over here shouting out people that are copping merch on the website. And let's see where we are with the likes so we are at 2400 now gosh come on i need this to mute we need 600 more which is perfectly fine because i can do these shout outs real quick look like we got got about 10 of them amanda eight shout out to amanda eight she cops something on the website jamie b shout out to Jay. Ooh, what's this name zoli zoli c shout out to you Abigail O, shout out to you. Thank you so much for copying something on the website. I got some stuff to autograph tonight, baby. I'm autographing everything you guys copying. Ooh, hold on. Miss Moore? Jaretha? Jaretta? Jarella? I can't say your name. That's, I ain't never seen a name like that before. Shout out to you. Angela B, shout out to you. Scott K, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Crystal P. Thank you so much. I bet I know what you got. You got a pullover, didn't you? What's this? John, Juan, E, shout out to you. Thank you so much. What you got? I want to see. I'm curious. 
Oh, you got oh you got the exclusive merch. Yeah, those those once those are gone, they're gone for good. Shout out to you. I'm gonna get those together and autograph to you. Shonda H. Shout out to Shonda. What she let me see what Shonda call. Oh, you can cop hey hey y'all the tank tops have been selling like crazy. The tank tops has been going like crazy. The nope not me tank tops, the tie dye ones are almost sold out. I won't be getting any more of them. I'm moving on to something different. I might bring back some tie dye um tank tops, but they're gonna be completely different. This or yeah, it's gonna be a different design on them, different print. No more than nope not me's. Dina, shout out to Dina. Jessica, Jessica R again, shout out to you. Yo, we got so many people that keep coming back to the website and cop and copying so much merchandise. I don't see people that had eight. 12 20 orders with me y'all are the real ones man y'all know i'll be shipping that stuff out to y'all with a quickness at least i try to be i try to do well, let me see where we at where we at man i'm just hanging out with y'all man we just prolonging the inevitable i know y'all want another video let me see help me help y'all with this next video i think i messed my beard up all this my beard all dry need to put some of my beard oil in it Need to, but I gotta make some more. I gotta make some more beard oil tomorrow, y'all, because I got a few people that um, cop some beard oil, and I didn't even realize I, I didn't have them all in the bottles. So I got like a bunch of beard oil to make tomorrow, y'all. Your boy be busy. Your boy be grinding literally all day long. I be working. I gotta make beard oil tomorrow. Let's see here. What was uh? Y'all, we at 2,500. Is that 25? Let me refresh it. 2,500. We was at 2,500. We need 500 more. In the meantime, in between time. Oh, snap. You're Zoli? What up, King? What up, King? We need 500 more likes, my friends. And we will knock out this last video. Hey, Dark Angel, what's this, Dark Angels? It says, oh my God, mine and my husband, first live stream. We've been wanting to catch, hey, you in here, Coco. One more, get her done, get her done. We gonna get her done, all right, what up, Matt? Sorry I'm late, I love your uploads, keep up everything you're doing. So much love for you, brother, I appreciate that so much, Matt Berry. You are a real one. You are a real one. I thank you. I thank you so much for that. I wake up my son hour early in Tokyo. So he's up to watch it. Hey, what up, Mary? Y'all up here watching? That's what's up. We in here, baby. Appreciate each and every one. Thank you, Marina. Yes, we do. We appreciate all of y'all for being here, hanging out with us tonight. Even though we done had about 700 people fall off the live stream. See, they don't know, man. They don't know. There be one more. There be one more. Most of the times, I can't always give y'all one more, but I can give you one more tonight because I'm kind of alert. Y'all see, I got a lot of energy. I got to have energy because I got to get through these orders tonight. And I kind of had an iced coffee earlier. So, because I knew, I knew I was going to have to stay up till like two o'clock in the morning so I can get these orders together. Yep. Uh huh. I already know. I already know. Wait, hold on. I forgot. I forgot some people. Amanda, shout out to hit that damn like button. Stupid. Amanda says, hit that damn like button, y'all. Better hit that like button. Hold on, y'all. Give me just a moment. I forgot. I forgot somebody's. Hold on here. Let me see what the people of the world is talking about. Christopher stream is the best my favorite YouTube Woo, Christopher H thank you Christopher says I'm his favorite youtuber or I'm the best youtuber nah there's way better youtubers out there than me I'm all right you know what I'm saying I ain't all that but I'm all right I like me you know what that's what matters y'all like me that matters too self money this is the second live stream. Welcome, bro. You in here. You made it. Crystal, thank you for all the shout outs. You're so awesome. And I just want to say, don't give up. 
on reaching your goals. I can't. I won't. As hard as they are to achieve, I will not give up. I will not. They're on my mind too much. They're on my mind every single day. I got to achieve my goals. I finally have goals for once in my life. I didn't have goals before, but I have goals now. So I got to make them come true. I worked so hard for them. I don't know what I'm going to do after I hit a million subscribers, y'all. I don't know what the next thing going to be. I don't know what the next thing going to be. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Give me just a moment here. Wait. Okay. Okay, cool. Daniela says, can't wait for my shirt. Look, they coming. They coming. I'm shipping them out real soon, baby. Real, real soon. Shout out to everybody that's still in here chilling. While I'm over here just killing time, I don't even care. We ain't here. I'm in here with my peoples. We having a good time. We chilling. We chillaxing. Y'all know what's going to get this video there quicker. Share it. Share it. If you got the social medias, Facebook, share the video. Share the live stream. We're going to get them likes that much quicker. You know what? Who's watching on the console right now? Somebody had tweeted at me that you can like that you can hit the like button even if you're watching on the console. I know some of y'all watch from the console. But anyway, nah. We gonna do this. We gonna do this. Since I definitely gotta get to these orders since I'm trying to autograph everything because it takes a while to autograph everything and ship all this stuff or package it up. I need y'all to do this. One hundred more lights. Let's get to twenty seven hundred. I know the rest of the lights. They gonna come later, baby. Because my real ones, they gonna be here to watch when they wake up in the AM. Because it's late overseas. You know, I got people that watch from all around the world, which still blows my mind to this day. That like, who me? What? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. And we're about to hit a million subscribers in a few months. Look, mine is blown. Mine is blown. I did it. I did it. I became a YouTuber. <laughs> Still baffles me every single day. I'm inside of this, this YouTube universe right now. This is crazy. How did I get here? How did I do this? What? <laughs> Y'all, I'm for real. Like I'm baffled every single day that I get to do this for you guys. My daughter Vanessa loves watching you. <laughs> and has, wait hold on. It has the best two mil reward. Ooh, playing on Ouija board. No, I don't do the Ouija's. You, you gotta take a trip to Hawaii, bro. Or the Bahamas. Yeah, I think I've been planning on going to the Bahamas. Yeah, I need to. I definitely need to go to some places for sure. Definitely need to go to some places. Haven't been out the country yet. Can't wait to do that. Cannot wait. Let's see where we at. Do we get at least get twenty seven hundred? We got twenty seven hundred, y'all. Why not? Why not? Next video. Guess what? This video is the longest video of all the ones we've watched tonight. This one is titled "Top Fifteen Scary Videos We Warned You Not to Watch." I need a good jump scare. I need a good jump scare. Oh yeah, and tomorrow, you guys, tomorrow afternoon, around between two and three p.m. Eastern Standard Time, probably closer to three, I'm gonna do another live stream, Karen reaction live stream tomorrow. Y'all make sure y'all y'all be there for that. It's gonna be around three p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm looking forward to that too. But anyway. We're about to get to this. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Y'all, again, this last video. Top 15 scary videos. We warned you not to watch. And then we got a uh, Mr. Ballin 
live stream reaction coming soon again. We're going to try to push for that for Wednesday night, I believe. But let's get into this next video. Hopefully, we can get at least another up to 3,500 by the end of this live stream. Live active viewers. Let's go. Number 15. Go, uh -oh, chill. Child. What is it about seeing a ghost where you least expect it that sends the most unnerving chills down your spine? Posted by Leo Alcala213 to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Oh, I remember this. A group of boys are outside at night when they oh, spot this. I remember this. Yo, that is creepy, man. I like, yo, somebody get your kid. Small figure far away. Cast in shadows. At first, they see him standing in front of a lit building. Later, the I don't remember that part. Wait, yeah, dude. figure is captured in front of another I building. I definitely remember that. From afar, the shadow looks like a youth standing still. The cameraman says it looks like a figurine, although it doesn't appear to be moving. In a later clip, the figure is gone. Although some in the comments say the whole thing looks staged. Redditor Gemincini writes. Staged or not, it's creepy AF. Extra Serenity adds, you should go back and see if it's still there. Don't think I would heed this advice. Number 14. Office on, pranks are usually harmless, but when the mastermind behind them is a poltergeist, who knows what the end game is? Published to YouTube by Indo Crop Circles in July of 2017. This clip of some unusual happenings in a Malaysian office was caught on CCTV. The footage shows a man working in your everyday office alone at night. He sits down at his desk and is involved in his task at hand when, off to the right, a chair spins. He sees the movement out of the corner of his eye and looks over. As he's gazing at the chair, another to his left pushes back from the neighboring desk as if a phantom worker is sitting in it, being preoccupied with the first chair. Alright, let's let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Now it seems as though he's the only one in this office at during this hour. He might be working extra late, who knows? Some spooky stuff is happening. You know why he's there by his lonesome. Or it could be that there are other people here they're just off camera and they're pulling these two chairs by strings but it could be a real ghost the worker doesn't notice the second one but he does notice when paperwork flies from the countertop out of nowhere that's when he spins back from his seat looking under his desk for any signs of what may be causing this mayhem around him he stands up and picks up his phone, presumably to call for help. Although burning the midnight oil may send you up that corporate ladder, is it really worth risking an encounter with the paranormal? Number 13. Teleporting Child On occasion, Twitter sometimes serves up footage that is, in fact, newsworthy. This Twitter account tweeted, WTF, does anyone else see the child teleport? The short clip taken from BBC News footage shows what? an interview of a woman on the what? street about an unrelated topic. What? In the background, however, something strange appears, seemingly out of thin air. A child holding someone's hand what? teleports into the corner of the screen. The interview appears not to be otherwise edited. Some in the comments, however, suggest these are two clips spliced together. Camera snaps response. It's an edit chopped on at the end to make her look like she's happy. Some call the editing sinister, while others insist it's not editing. Yo, I'm about to shout out at the end of this video. I'm going to go back and shout out some more of the people that's on the website copying merchandise. Thank you guys so much. Kimberly, I see you. Thank you. I hope you like it when you get it. Or rather, a glitch in the matrix. Which do you think it is? All I know is that it's definitely freaky. Thank you, Andrea. Uh-oh, one of the... I'm sorry, you guys. One of the dang on chats just fell off. Number 12, Edinburgh Ghost. To kick off this entry, we enter the medieval old town of Edinburgh. The storied history of Scotland's capital lends itself to some truly legendary hauntings. This video illustrates that no matter where you turn in Edinburgh, 
you may find yourself face to face with the paranormal submitted to the chills narrator subreddit by rocket league rl something frightening is caught on film in this normal everyday edinburgh park even jk rowling found ghostly inspiration in edinburgh citing the very real gray friars kirkyard where you will find some of her character names taken straight from the cemetery's very own tombstones Needless to say, Edinburgh is the perfect scene for paranormal sightings, as this video goes to show, on the banks of a lake, across the jungle gym bars of a playground, a phantom woman appears to stand still, as day turns to dusk, apart from the ghastly image of this figure stood unmoving there, strange incoherent sounds are heard throughout the clip. Donde? <gasps> Is this a case of Edinburgh's terrifying history come to life? Or it. are our eyes deceiving us? I'll see it. Number 11, Graveyard Live Stream. While well, streaming live at a New Orleans graveyard at night on February 8th, 2020, Franco TV encounters not the undead, but the living. In the beginning, he describes his first encounter with a man in the graveyard, explaining that he'd been warned that thieves in New Orleans like to come after people who explore the city's graveyards at night. He said he'd encountered this man twice already in this episode, explaining that the man was on foot, had a book bag and approached him, passed him, and then circled around while he was outside of his car walking through the mausoleum. He feels a bit shaky from this encounter and says he doesn't know if he's going to exit his vehicle again, but he follows his audience's risky advice and does anyway. As Franco is out, walking around the creepy stone grave solo, he starts to feel unsafe again and after a time returns to his car. He is examining an above ground crypt from his vehicle when he hears some footsteps. He continues to drive around the cemetery saying he heard something from behind his car that sounded like a knocking. He says he can't get out of his car again because he thinks someone else is there. In fact, there he is. After turning around, Franco zooms in on a man walking toward him down the cemetery road. What is this man doing in a graveyard at night? For real? Is he too live streaming for YouTube? <laughs> One thing I find to be very fascinating is earlier Chill said that in where is where is this Louisiana somewhere that people rob or look at look out for people that explore cemeteries at night in this state or in this city. That's fascinating that people just target people that are exploring cemeteries to rob them like who the heck came up with that? It certainly doesn't look like it. Franco doesn't know what to do but continue to drive, passing the guy seemingly without issue. He speeds up, getting out of the graveyard as quickly as possible. As he tries to find the exit, he says the man was literally chasing after his car. He says he felt the man hit the back of it, and as he flees, explains that he must get out of there and find a safe place. He then warns viewers not to enter a New Orleans graveyard at night, as if we needed any warning after watching this. I know that's right. Number 10, Early Morning Drive. ABC Perth reported this scary story on May 13th, revealing the terrifying dash cam footage from a mother of four who led police in a chase through the suburbs of Perth. Thank you, Asher. Back at you. Driving at speeds that ranged from 46 miles per hour to 87 miles per hour. The suspect went through stop signs and red lights and deliberately drove on the wrong side of the road to avoid authorities during the 40 minute chase. The judge who presided over the case viewed dash cam footage from a police vehicle involved in the chase as well as from a civilian driver towards which the suspect had been driving, calling her driving frightening. The victim's family said they were satisfied with the verdict and hold no bitterness or animosity towards the suspect, adding that she had written them an apology letter and has accepted responsibility for her actions. Number 9. Caught on security camera. Think your possessions are safe right outside your home? This series of videos will have you second guessing that. 
The uploader explains that the first video occurred on a Saturday night in June of 2019. It shows two women on the balcony of a house, innocently looking through a shoe cubby. After checking out a couple pairs, they suddenly race from the balcony. Apparently this isn't their home, and they aren't supposed to be there. These same brazen ladies return in the second video. It appears they felt the need to trespass further. One of the women returns to the balcony, strolling across it. Man, nah, something ain't right, bro. How would these girls know that these shoes are on this balcony? One of two things has had to happen for these girls to know them shoes are on that balcony. Either they know who live here, like they could be the friends of the person that lives in this home. You know, like it might be a girl that lives there and these two girls or one of the girls is her friend. And she knows that she puts her shoes or the family puts the shoes out there on the balcony and they might have some nice shoes. Or it could be a guy that lives there and he knows one of these girls. He could be friends with one of these girls. Or... I forgot the other reason. <laughs> I forgot the other reason as to how they could known that these shoes are there. Somebody could have tipped them off. Maybe even even if they don't know these people in, indirectly, they they might be tipped off by somebody that knows that these people put their shoes on the porch. Regardless, it's messed up. I'm glad they got cameras to capture them. I see your face, girl. I see your face. At ease, that is, until she notices the security camera posted up. Whoopsies! Oh, it's a camera pointing right at me. <laughs> I'm so stupid. You dummy in the corner she laughs and covers her face quickly leaving the balcony it's not clear if these intruders made off with anything from the apartment hey that's what's up logan hope she likes the shirts but casium asks viewers to spread the word if not thieves it's still creepy to imagine strangers lurking right outside your front door at night number eight a ghost town in the middle of nowhere under a red moon. What could go wrong? Published to YouTube by t -Phil in October of 2019, the t -Phil crew tests the waters overnight at an abandoned ghost town, which they say includes more than 200 acres, 40 buildings, and even two miles of underground tunnels. The crew says this mining ghost... For people that's asking about the merch, yes, it is. Um, they all fit pretty true to size. And it's unisex, but the, um, yeah, it's unisex, so it all fits pretty well. This town has major Hills Have Eyes vibes, and it sure looks like it. As they start to enter buildings, one that they think is occupied has its lights on, but no one is home. The calendar hanging on the wall is from 2007. They climb broken wood and scaffolding to enter more buildings that have cages inside. After exploring a bit more, they're confronted by a man named Jasper, who asks them why they're filming on his property. In the end, the man softens, telling them to be careful and lets them go on their way, telling them not to damage or take anything. They extend their conversation with Jasper, asking him if there's any paranormal activity up in the area. He says he hasn't experienced any. The crew is still a little shaken from the encounter, but they return to the mines to do their thing. The tunnels inside the mine are nightmarish, even more so when they start hearing something walking above them, but they continue finding a bat in the caves along the way. When they exit the mines again, they split up as they continue to explore and come back together. They hear some screaming that they consider might be a coyote, but then decide sounds human. Worse, loads of voices are then heard, lots of banging of metal, and someone saying you shouldn't be here. According to the crew, after calling the police and reporting the incident, they found out that the people who own the property have a history of scaring the pants off of trespassers like this. I suppose that's one way- Duh! Y'all are trespassers and they own the property, you're not supposed to be there. Stupid. To get your kick says the sole residence of an isolated ghost town. Number seven. I see your orders coming through, everybody. Give me a moment after this live stream or after this video is over. I'll be shouting at everybody that's on the website copping. School poltergeist. 
Published to YouTube by Proving Demons in May of 2020, the channel writes, We returned to the most haunted poltergeist school and captured insane paranormal activity on camera, from ghosts manifesting to things moving on their own as well as a strange incident of a supernatural nature this and for everybody that's um trying to send a donation to my um paypal it says it says cyber dad caps that was just a company brand that i used to own years ago that's why you see that so don't worry it's me if you see cyber dad hats or dad caps or something that's that's still me Haunted school in the United Kingdom is apparently known for its poltergeist activity. As with most abandoned and reputably haunted places, the school is in shambles, wrecked and damaged by trespassers, age, and maybe even the spirits that haunt the place. Once inside the school, the group of investigators hears a humming that they say sounds like a generator, which is strange since the power is shut off in the school. Through the video, strange noises are heard, knockings, a woman's wails, a sound like a shower is running. One of the spookiest sounds though, which the crew seems to hear recurrently, is that of a young girl crying. At one point on the wall, they spot a message that reads, Dan PB. Could that message be directed at Dan from the Proving Demons crew? As they're examining the message, a noise is heard. Something from the ceiling fell out on its own, causing the lot of them to jump in fear. Dude, where did that come from? In the basement, they tune into the spirit box. When asking if anyone is here, the spirit box answers, I'm here, mate. When asking where the spirit is, a voice says, Gymnasium. <laughs> What happened in the gymnasium of this school? Whatever did, it's not leaving. Number six, the bridge of the train line. Translated from Portuguese, the, the video's title, the bride of the train line gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in- Is it just me or did he call this thing two different things? At first I thought he said the bridge of the train line. And now it sounds like he said the bride of the train line. In July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment, where it captures this figure in white. <laughs> Why does that man scream and sound like he's being tickled? He sound like he's being super tickled. What? Listen, listen. Pans to the side for a moment, where it captures this figure in white. <laughs> Don't he sound like he's being tickled like a thief? He's in spirits in a tickle attack. Ah! Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure two appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. Number 5. Soundtrack of Nightmares If there was a soundtrack to your nightmares, it would probably sound like this. Posted to TikTok by Hannah Hallett, she writes simply, Um, help? You'd be seeking help too if this Yankee Doodle was blaring outside your window in the darkness of night. Hannah captures what looks like an ice cream truck making a U-turn on her road in the darkness. Well, that's a little odd considering the time of day, but not overly scary. 
the fact that the truck's haunting children's music is blaring from its speakers even as darkness envelopes the night is absolutely terrifying. Who is this ice cream man trying to attract? Imagine this nightmare fuel filtering into nah, your subconscious as you f That's ice cream man? Since when do ice cream trucks look so nice? Usually people that start an ice cream truck business they don't usually start it with trucks this nice with big old freaking Toy Story decals plastered along the side. Ice cream trucks don't look this nice, man. Ice, people that get ice cream trucks, they buy the most rinky dick torn down van with already got 150,000 miles on it. They bust a big old hole through the side. They go somewhere and get one of those little freezers, throw it in the back of their truck. And call it a business. <laughs> Fall off to sleep. Pretty sure nightmares would be a guarantee. Number four, shower demon. Ready to active. God dang, bro. Get out my face. Why are you all up in my face, bro? Why are you looking like that, man? He get on my nerves. Activate your night terrors. Posted by Acid Gatter to the Chills Narrator's... That dude look like he's on acid. Of Reddit. The Redditor writes, Think this is fake, but still scared the living blank out of me at the end. Originally published to YouTube by Lead Belly in June of 2011. This man gonna go blind. He look like he's looking to a light. The uploader claims that something's watching him. In the video, the man says that this is the third night this week that he's heard something. Then you hear it too. An irritating groaning is coming back from the bathroom. I don't hear it. All I hear is chills talking. Redditor Philco79 writes in the comments that it sounds like a tauntaun, which is a non-sentient lizard from Star Wars. The man follows the sound there and finds that the bathroom is empty, or so he thought. He turns the corner to capture this. The demon face does indeed appear brunt or like a frozen plastic mask, but somehow uncannily real at the same time. In the comment thread, Acid Gatter says he came across this video when he was researching shower demons because he senses a- Are you serious right now? This man really want us to believe that that was real. That was a whole dude. That was a whole freaking dude. I can't believe this mess. That was a whole freaking dude. The presence every time he closes his eyes in the shower when the curtain is closed. Redditor, after seeing this video, I'm pretty freaked out about a potential shower demon too. Shower demon, really? So you telling me this guy that look like a hippie from the 1970s is a shower demon? Since when do demons get tattoos of freaking feathers on their chest? This dude got a feather tatted on his titty. He got a titty tat of a feather. He got one of those cheap freaking masks that you buy at CVS during Halloween and he freaking put a marker of a mustache on it because he can't grow a real one in real life. This man got a titty tat of a feather. And you want, you want to call this a shower demon.
Why is there demons in the showers, man? I don't think a demon would want to get in the shower with, with me. I don't think it would. I'm a nasty, disgusting human being. It's going to get real dirty. I don't think it, and I stink. I was literally thinking about taking a shower after this video, which I will. I can smell my feet right now. I'm getting in the shower after this video. You know what will not be in the shower? A shower demon. I can tell you that for a fact. You know why? Because they don't exist. This fool got a titty tat. Ends because he senses a presence every time he closes his eyes in the shower when the curtain is closed. Redditor after C. If that's true, bro, you got a, a weird friend. You got a very strange friend that's willing to jump in the dang old shower behind you. If you feel a, stra a strange presence in the shower. Check your friend, fool. In this video, I'm pretty freaked out about a potential shower demon too. Number three, get out. When demons speak, you listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Regal. The Redditor explains that he and some friends listened back to the voice recording of an EVP when they heard this demon or spirit, which sounds like it's speaking directly into the recorder. In the recording, you can hear the group asking the spirit if he can let them know he is present. Just let me know you are here. It's a party over here. After asking this question a couple times, a clear voice is heard, and he wants one thing from the living. He wants them to get out. In the Reddit thread, Regal explains that a neighbor from his apartment complex in Reno, Nevada told him that he'd seen a tall shadow man in the mirror leering behind him. Then they experienced some poltergeist activity as a protein container threw itself across the room at them when they entered the neighbor's house. He suspected the demon also possessed his neighbor as the man kept blacking out only to awake standing in the corner of the room. The neighbor also suffered from unexplained scratches on occasion. Redditor jazzed out right. That sounds like a malevolent spirit to me, and not a demon. And to add to this, demons are easier to identify when and if they speak, because they will be speaking in a language called Aramaic, which is more difficult to understand. Demon or malevolent spirit, to be honest, don't know which is worse. Number two, Woody comes to life. In Toy Story, the toys come to life in a charming manner when the kids are away. But when it happens, in <laughs> I love that. I love that. Woody's like. Number two, Woody comes to life. In Toy Story, the toys come. To Woody got caught on camera. Woody over here with the beers. He about to take the beer to off. He about to open a beer bottle. Charming manner. And then he looks to the right. Oh, snap. It's a human. Oh, I moved my head. I think he caught me. The kids are away. He goes, what? What? When that, it happened, that is hilarious. It's in this video, it's more chilling than charming. Originally posted to TikTok by Oscar Ferlin. The video <laughs> shows a woody dog standing upright on the kitchen <laughs> counter with one hand on it. I would go up to the sink and be like, Woody, I caught you. I caught you. Uh-huh. You think you're slick. You might as well just come alive. Just come alive. Talk to me, Woody. You ain't slick. I know you're living. I know you're alive. Come on now. I seen the movies. I seen all of them. One, two, three, and four, five, six. I seen all the Toy Stories. Talk to me, Woody. And you know what Woody gonna do? He gonna continue to play dead. I'm like, Woody, I just saw you. Look. Look at my phone. You see, I got you on camera. Look, that's you. Playing dead, stupid. Look, just come alive. What is he gonna be like? Still gonna play dead, cause that's that's exactly what would happen. Y'all know it. The, the doll ain't gonna come alive for you. It's gonna keep playing dead, even though you caught it. Can noticing that a human person has entered. <laughs> 
The dog glances over at him before dropping his hand, going stiff like a board, and falling over backwards into the kitchen sink. <laughs> Although it truly does look eerily real, some claim it's an animation. While well, Redditor Anna Cabana says the dolls are designed to fall over in this manner when hearing the phrase, someone's coming. Regardless of whether it's an animation or the toy's design, I think we can all agree with Mythical Gamer 9 who writes, eh, it looks a bit too real, still very creepy, definitely not a toy on my wish list. I've got a challenge. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Instead of writing Andy on the bottom of his foot, I'm going to write A-OK. -okay. <laughs> I need a witty doll now. So I can write A-OK -okay on the, the bottom of his foot. You got a friend in me. And graveyard ghost. When the past on are literally beneath your feet, you're bound to step in something. Pu yeah. Published YouTube by Exploring with Eric in May of 2020. Eric visits a graveyard at 3 in the morning in his new series, The Devil's Hour. I don't want to say it. My objective is to document all sorts of evidence that relates to the paranormal world, whether it be poltergeist activity, any shape or form of apparitions, etc. By using my basic ghost hunting equipment, in this series you will see myself investigate alone. During the first episode, he gets more than he bargained for. While in the cemetery, Eric finds a mausoleum. After hearing a loud knock during a spirit box session, the glass door closes. He then says he heard someone's voice, and he hopes there's no one here messing with him. Just as he decides no one's there after wandering around the premises, he hears footsteps. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly where I want to show you. He runs up the stairs to the second floor to see who is there, but there's no one. He notices that the doors are open to the outside. As he shows his viewers a fountain in the middle of the mausoleum, he hears footsteps again. He returns to the inner mausoleum, where the doors are again closed. Finally, he decides to leave and it's standing outside, saying he'll return again at some point. But as he pans around, a large shadow figure moves behind a nearby tree. Whoa. I just, it's too much, it's too much for me right now to handle and like. What was that? Is that what's been watching him? It's probably time to say goodbye. Thanks for checking out this. No, mom is way. You see that? Did you see it? I saw it. It was right there. Right there. Don't they? Right there. Nope, not me. Anyway. Y'all, we made it to the end of the live stream. Woo, we extended our time today. It's three, what, two? Two and a half hours. Woo, we, we in here for a hot minute. Y'all, let me do these last final shout outs to people that's uh, dropping off cash app donation, as well as, we got about four of them, as well as people that are on the website copying merchandise. Austin, sorry for being so late to this one. Hey, no worries, brother, as long as you made it. We appreciate you. Jacqueline, Jacqueline S, he said, uh, we love you. I got timed out uh, for spamming the chat. Don't spam the chat, baby girl. Don't spam the chat, baby girl. One of the most dope reaction channels on YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Amanda, shout out to Hit That Down. Oh, yeah, that was her that said that. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me get on here and see what people are copping on the website real quick. We're about to shout y'all folks out, too. And then we'll be out of here. Thank you, guys so much for hanging out with us tonight y'all are the goats let's see what y'all doing let's see what y'all got going on right chill right now right here right quick right quick chill give me a minute i gotta refresh hold on any day now there we go there we go dustin shout out to dustin r shout out to amanda b they are on the website copy stuff uh matthew j i see you thank you so much michelle C, appreciate you so much. Ooh, how you say this name? Trezenis? I know the last name Scott. Thank you so much. I can't pronounce that first name. I wish I could. 
Jason B, thank you so much. And I seen Kimberly and I saw you on the um on the chat. And Ethan, Ethan H, appreciate you so much. Miss Silva again? How much you gonna take everything on the website? Let other folks order stuff. <laughs> Shout out to you. I'm gonna ship your stuff out first thing tomorrow. Unique O. Wait, how long is that? I I think I Eugene. Oh snap, I'm tripping. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Teresa B. Teresa B. Shout out to you. Thank you. Daniel V. I'm about to drop y'all. I'm about to drop y'all stuff off at the post office first thing tomorrow. Let me see. All right, y'all. We here. We done made it to the end of the live stream. It's Monday. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you guys in here again Friday. Don't forget tomorrow afternoon around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to do a Karen live reaction. But y'all know what time it is. Like this reaction. Like this live stream. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the originals will be down in the description box below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at Art of Kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me.